Say, kids, what time is it? Time to run you up. What time is it? Yum Dum Run You Up, are you well? I'm Penelope Towney and you're watching County Time. I'm here at the science base with my friend Kirsten, a Wiradjuri astrophysicist. Whoa! We couldn't make it out to Wiradjuri country to film the episode of County Time, but the science space's planetarium could take us virtually anywhere, virtually on Wiradjuri country, anywhere in the universe and even out. That technology is pretty mind-blowing to me. My dad's dad, my pop, Dunga, Graham Towney. He just passed away recently. He was very clever. He showed me the Inua, Emu, in the sky. And when it moved throughout the year, and how you'd know the differences between what it was doing. Breeding, nesting, you know. I'm gonna let you take this away, Kirsten. So the Emu in the Sky is one of my absolute favourite constellations because it shows us, like you said, how to find Emu eggs, right? So if we look up into the night sky, usually around April or May, Dinawan, or what we call Gugomen, the Sky Emu, is usually up over in the east, just coming up above the horizon. And that's when Gugomen kind of looks like it's running along the horizon. So at that moment, we see that and perceive that as the Dinawan on the ground running around looking for a mate. So no emu eggs just yet. But later in the year, when the Earth moves a bit further around its orbit around the sun, Gogolmun moves higher and higher into the sky to when it's directly above us in the night sky, usually in the coldest parts of the year, like June and July. And when it's highest in the sky, from what I've learned, is our perspective of Gogolmun changes. So instead of seeing the body of the emu being the center of our Milky Way galaxy, we see it now in this position as an emu egg in a nest. And so that tells us that now's the right time to go looking for emu eggs. Thank you, Kirsten. In every episode of County Time, I'd like to share a word or phrase in one of my languages. Today, being with Kirsten, who is also a Wiradjuri, I wondered if you would like to share a Wiradjuri word. Now the Wiradjuri word that I want to share with you today, and I love that you do this on your YouTube channel, is actually sky related. No surprise there, you know how I love the sky. So the Milky Way galaxy, the general term that we give it in Wiradjuri language is Billabang, which is the same word that you may recognize from English as Billabong, it is the name we give to the Milky Way galaxy. And it represents a series of water holes. And so that word Billabong derives from the traditional Wiradjuri word for the Milky Way galaxy, Billabang. Why you later, person it was so Madam Bumblung, good, spending time with you today. If you liked coming with us to the planetarium to talk star stories today, please like, subscribe, anything you can do so our video travels further, like through space. Mandangu everyone, why you